Oh, at one point the officer asked me if I had any guns in the car. I, he was pretty much done with everything. I, I don't even know what a gun is, but whatever. But I mean, like, you know, I'm, I support your right to bear arms. But yeah, I didn't have everything. And then he looks at me. If you, if you look at my eyes, you can see sometimes my eyes are dilated. It's because of multiple sclerosis. It's a common thing. And I've had that for like 20 years now. So he's like probably thinking to himself, is he high or something? Maybe he has some drugs on him, right? So, and by the way, I, I just confirmed. I have this ticket here. Some of you didn't believe that this even happened. I'm making this up. But this is the ticket. It's a warning. And it is a warning. He didn't make me go to any kind of court or anything. And it was actually the 31st, March 31st. And it says it was at 8 o'clock, 8.30. I didn't realize it was that early. But yeah, I forgot the clocks, you know, they, whatever, that's central time or something. So, I thought it was like 9.30, but... So, yeah, it was early in the morning, but uh, he he questions... When I told him, oh, yeah, that's, you, you know, my eyes thing, and... You know, I'm wearing this, this uh, hoodie for a reason, okay? He looks at my hoodie. I got out of the car. Can, can you get out of the car? I want to search a few things if you're cool. I'm like, I don't care. I, I know a lot of your attorneys try to say, oh, don't do that whole illegal search and seizure thing. Don't let them do it. Whatever. I, I mean, you don't, I don't have anything to hide, so go ahead and take a look at it. I thought it'd be kind of cool anyway, because they have it on their camera, and I thought I'd get a copy of it. That'd be cool if I could get that still. So, yeah, he began going through the car, and... and um, before that, he went to the car, he, he, he looked at my, my hoodie, he goes, you know, because if you look at me, I might have something underneath, I don't know. So he wanted to, to, um, to, to like, pat me down to see if I had anything on me. So that was kind of funny. I ended up taking this thing off because it, it was cold that morning, but staying there in the sun for an hour, almost it was a whole hour, I did get kind of warm. But yeah, he went through some things in that car that I never even knew existed. He tried to open the panel of the door to see if I need drugs in there. Um, he asked me if I had, you know, do you have like maybe uh, a few hundred thousand dollars of cash on you that you're, you're transporting somewhere? Maybe a few million dollars? He even said ten million dollars at one point. I thought that was hilarious. But he's looking for his money. I guess he, apparently this I-10 is like common for trafficking of narcotics and... Um, Somehow laundering large amounts of money. I like that idea. Bringing a lot of money with you around. It's going to be kind of cool, you know? So, yeah, they went through it. And they had a canine in there. Like, like a dog looking, you know? And then I, I did. At one point, I saw a helicopter go overhead. And they brought another car in for backup. So they had two other po police officer people. They were sheriff kind of things or something. At the, at, at the scene. Which I thought was absolutely awesome. I mean, usually you see those people out on the, on the, on the side of the road, you know, they're, they're nailed, they're busted. They got them good. But in my case, <laughs> they didn't have anything. <laughs> I kind of felt bad for them, you know? It's like, they're going, I felt like, wow, they got to be embarrassed. Like, they're going through, like, everything. Everything. Turn the car, I mean, upside down. I mean, they looked underneath the car. Trying to find these drugs and all this money that I had stashed away that I was transporting somewhere, right? Absolutely hilarious. Ah, oh, wow. At one point, I started thinking to myself, I wonder if he's going to find something. You know? He did ask me about the, uh, I had like, a, well, I did have like, you know, drugs on me, which is these, these shots that I do. Um, Glotopa, it's for the multiple sclerosis. I mean, I don't need to do them. I, I, I do just fine without them, but. Yeah, he asked me if I had any prescription drugs on me. I'm like, oh, yeah, I do actually have something. By the way, I do have something else, too. I had some, like, maybe one left of a of a painkiller. It's like a synthetic. I didn't disclose that. Oops. <laughs> Whatever. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. How many people get pulled over for potentially having drugs on them? I was, in my case, I was speeding. I was. And they don't get anything. I mean, they, these guys, they usually get the people. They, they're, they see something and they know it and they get them. <laughs> I got away, right? So this is my, um, criminal tool of my having a hoodie, you know? I was wearing, like I said, it was kind of cold that morning and sun got out. I don't, I don't need it now. It's still kind of chilly here in central Ohio. But yeah, bless you. Thank you for watching. <laughs>